Hello my friends, in today's video we will take a look at some of my favorite accessories for iPhone 14 Pro. iPhone 14 Pro is in my opinion the most interesting iPhone since the iPhone X. It has a great display, very capable camera setup and a ton of processing power. Some accessories that I will show you will be related to photography and video, but some will also be more general. Probably the most essential iPhone accessory is a case, so here are my top 3 cases for iPhone 14 Pro. The first one is the Armit Kevlar case from Banks. It uses real Dupont Kevlar fiber combined with TPU sides, which is more suitable for protecting the edges. This case is super high quality and I can say that it feels very premium. It is relatively slim, but it provides very decent protection, including the camera bump. The inner part is lined with soft material. A standout feature of this case are the buttons. It provides the best button feedback of all cases that I have ever used. The buttons actually feel better than without the case. It is fully MagSafe compatible. This is probably my number one favorite case at the moment. The second case that I use a lot is original Apple silicone case in succulent color. Apple cases are in my opinion very well made, they provide good grip and minimalist look, which is what I prefer. The button feedback is also very solid, but not as good as with the Banks case. If you are an iPhone user, you have probably used one of these at some point, so there is not much that needs to be said about it. Succulent is one of my all-time favorite colors, so I also have a matching Apple Watch strap, but that is a matter of taste of course. The third case is the Peak Design Everyday case. First of all, it is an essential part of the Peak Design mobile system, which is the main reason to get one. The case itself is nice. It features the usual fabric design and it feels solid. I think that it is a little bit too hard, especially the edges, but Peak Design was probably going for maximal attachment security, so I don't mind that too much. A nice feature is that it allows you to attach a Peak Design anchor to the bottom side. The button feedback is unfortunately below average. It is a nice case overall, but I have to say that I expected just a little bit more from Peak Design. On the other hand, the mobile system itself is fantastic. Peak Design uses their own magnetic connection system. It is compatible with Apple MagSafe, but much more secure. The most basic mount is the wall mount. You can attach it to any surface using VHB style tape. Then you can simply attach the phone. It works with everyday case or any other MagSafe compatible case. The most important Peak Design mobile accessory for me personally is the Creator Kit. It basically makes your iPhone compatible with any GoPro style mount. It also uses the safety clip or whatever it is called for extra security so it is not going anywhere. It also comes with Arca compatible tripod plate, so you can use it to mount your iPhone to vast majority of camera tripods. I mostly combine this mount with PGY tag mounts, such as the suction cup or handlebar mount. I've talked more about my favorite mounts in a video about GoPro accessories linked in the description. Peak Design mobile system is compatible with all of them. Peak Design offers a variety of their own mounts and PD mobile accessories, so I recommend checking it out. The tripod that I use for mobile photography is Siri 5C. 5C is in my opinion just about perfect for the iPhone. It is just 31 cm long when collapsed and it weighs 850 grams, which is incredibly light. Maximum payload is 4 kg, so you can also use it with a mirrorless camera and it feels fairly stable. It is not a replacement for a full-size tripod such as 7C, but it is way more than sufficient for mobile filmmaking. Maximum height of the 5C is 138cm and minimal height is 16cm. The build quality is very good. It feels very solid and nicely machined. The twist locks also work very well. Included ball head is very decent considering the size. This is a carbon fiber version, but it is also available in aluminum if you want to save some money. The carbon fiber version is in my opinion fairly priced as well though. Overall, I am very happy with this tripod and I can highly recommend it. If I don't use the Peak Design mobile system, my preferred way of attaching a smartphone to the tripod is the small rig holder BSP2415. This is by far the best smartphone holder that I have ever seen or used. 
It is made entirely of metal and extremely solid. The build quality and the machining is fantastic and I also like the surface finish. You can either use it as a stand by extending the base or you can use integrated Arca plate. This way you can mount it to any tripod with Arca compatible head. You can also use the integrated hot shoe or you can mount it the other way around and use quarter inch mount. It works with any smartphone including 6.7 inch phablets. This is in my opinion a great product, very affordable and I absolutely recommend it. I currently use two smartphone gimbals, both from Zion. The first one is Smooth 5S. This is a heavy duty smartphone gimbal mainly focused on the performance. It is not trying to be small, instead of that it provides a proper balancing axis and excellent grip. The stability is pretty much as good as it gets, but like with any other smartphone gimbal, most of the work is done by the iPhone stabilization. It is mainly the handling and a little bit of extra weight that allows you to get the best possible results. It is also fully compatible with Filmic Pro and some of the buttons also work with native camera app. Another standout feature of the Smooth 5S is that it has an integrated light and one extra detachable light. If you care more about the performance than about the portability, Smooth 5S is in my opinion the best choice. If you care more about the portability, Smooth Q4 is a better choice. It is a collapsible gimbal that can be folded into a very small package. The performance is still really good though. It has a very decent grip and it is generally easy to use. The balancing is a little bit less convenient than with the Smooth 5S but still pretty easy. It comes with one detachable light. It is ideal for traveling and for users who need something that is compact and provides a good performance at the same time. I also use a screen protector on my iPhones mainly because it allows me to be a little bit less careful. The one that I use on 14 Pro is from Banks and it is called Glass Warrior with Sapphire Coating. The Sapphire Coating should combine the scratch resistance of a Sapphire screen protector and relative flexibility of tempered glass. The installation is pretty easy thanks to the included line kit. In terms of the clarity and touch response it is very good, I have no issues with that whatsoever. Regarding the chargers, I use two types of chargers. One for slow charging and one for fast charging. The slow charger that I use is a well known Apple 5W charger. The reason why I use it is that it increases the longevity of the battery. As long as I don't actually need to charge my iPhone quickly, I use this charger. If I do need to charge my iPhone, MacBook and something else very quickly at the same time, I use this Ugreen 140W Beast charger. It allows me to charge everything at the same time at a full power. It has two USB-C PD ports, one can output 140 watts and the other 100 watts. Both can output 65 watts simultaneously, which means that you can charge two MacBook Airs at full power. There is also one USB-A connector that can output 22.5 watts. The size of this charger is very similar to the Apple 61 watt charger, so needless to say, it provides an excellent size to output ratio. It is also very well made, it uses a number of safety features and considering the output, it doesn't get too hot. I especially recommend this charger to MacBook Pro owners. The lightning cable that I use is also from Ugreen. It is nylon braided and it has aluminum connector bodies, so it is very durable. It uses the original Apple C94 lightning connector and it is MFI certified. It is rated for 20 watts, but iPhones are very conservative with the charging speed, so we will rarely see that value. It is available in multiple colors and lengths, I mostly use 1 meter long green version and 2 meters long gray version. Another very useful accessory is a MagSafe power bank. The one that I use is again from Banks and it is a 5000 mAh version. It is pretty straightforward, you just need to attach it to an iPhone and it will start charging it. In my opinion it is much better than the Apple version. The main reason for that is that it uses USB-C which has all kinds of advantages over the lightning. You can also use it as a regular power bank and charge anything using that USB-C port. It can output 7.5 watts wirelessly or 12.5 watts through USB-C. 
Overall, it works great, it has a nice rubberized surface and I can highly recommend it. So these were some of my favorite accessories for the iPhone 14 Pro and other iPhones. I've been using these for a long time and I'm generally very happy with these products. I hope that this video was useful and maybe a bit inspirational. So that's it for this video, thank you for watching, I hope that you liked this video and that you have found it to be useful. Stay tuned for more videos and maybe consider subscribing if you don't want to miss my future content. I appreciate your feedback in form of thumbs up or thumbs down. If you would like to ask anything or share your opinion, please do so in the comment section and see you next time.